OK, uh, on for the next one. So again, basically, if you guys can remember, the main important thing when using the slow formula is just determine what your x1 and x2 are. I always like to have the first point to the left be x1, y1. It does not matter which points as long as this point is y1, x1, or x1 and y1, and this one's x2 and y2. Okay, So just be consistent with that. Again, by go ahead and using my slope, it's going to be y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So in this case, I have a negative 2 minus a negative 2 all over negative 6 minus 8. Well, now, this is negative 2 minus a negative. That's like adding. So negative 2 plus 2 is going to give me 0 over negative 14. And then 0 divided by negative 14 is? 0. Now, if you have a slope of 0, does anybody know what type of line that creates? It is a line. It could either be vertical or horizontal. It could be vertical. It's actually going to be. No, well, no. Um, we'll, we'll get to it. I'll show you exactly the same. Um, 